Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to another paddle review from the Dink Pickleball. Today we got a unique paddle in our hands, a fun one from Velos Pickleball. Velos is relatively pretty new to the pickleball world. They sent me their paddle over a month ago and since then I've been able to get at least 15-20 hours of testing with the paddle and I've really enjoyed it thus far. Before we take a deep dive into the paddle review itself, let's look at some of the specs of the Velos. They currently have two models, the Ellipse and the Quadra. Both with a 16 millimeter and a 13 millimeter option, the ellipse is elongated while the quadra is your typical shorter square shaped paddle. Since I prefer elongated, I spent my time there with the ellipse 16 millimeter. This paddle has a length of 16.25 inches, width of 7.3 inches, 8 ounce weight, and a handle length of 5.5 inches, a circumference of 4.25 inches. With some of the boring specs out of the way, let's dive into what makes this paddle stand out and really shine. Almost every paddle you see on the market today has a honeycomb core or a polypropylene core with an open edge surrounded by a plastic cap to cover up the core and close out the paddle. This in reality is the cheaper, easier way to design it, but Velos decided to go a different direction. While Velos still has that typical honeycomb core, they also have four layers of fully wrapped carbon fiber collectively creating one solid durable piece of material from the handle all the way to the paddle face itself. As soon as I picked up this paddle and took it to the quartz, after my first shot just right from the baseline, I was immediately intrigued. There's a level of accuracy to the paddle that's really unique, especially when it comes to hands battles and drives from the baseline. I feel like I could paint lines with it and get the ball just to drift over the net accordingly whenever I needed to. Aside from the accuracy itself, the most standout feature of this paddle is the sweet spot. It's absolutely massive. I haven't played with a paddle that has a bigger sweet spot yet, and it made it really easy to play with. As mentioned, this really helped my drives, but when it came up to the net when I was dinking, it made it really easy as well. With that large of a sweet spot, my dinks were really consistent while I used the Velos. I started testing this paddle about a week before my tournament that was coming up at the hub here in San Diego. To my absolute surprise, after using it for just one play session, I decided to take it and run with it for my tournament. Ended up having a decent day out there at the hub. My partner and I entered 4.5 men's doubles and came away with a bronze medal. I also had an intense first round matchup against Golden Tate and his partner Reggie. It was a fun time. Sorry we had to beat you Golden, but nonetheless, go Hawks. Always down for a rematch. As great as using the Velos was, there was a few things that I noticed from my game as I was playing through the tournament that I felt like I was missing just based off personal preference. One of the slight drawbacks is this is isn't a heavy spin paddle. I'm used to some of your common carbon fiber T700 face paddles, which tend to generate a lot of spin, really helping me get some dips and drops when I'm hitting my third shot drops and some of my drives as well. I wouldn't say the Velos is lacking spin, it just wasn't one of its standout features, which is something that I'm really used to and that I've developed for my style of play. But if you don't require a ton of spin for the way you play pickleball, then it won't be a problem for you at all. At the end of the day, I had a blast playing with the Velos. It was really fun to use and I guarantee I'll go back and test it out again in the future. What's awesome is that right now Velos is launching a 30-day demo program so if you don't like the paddle within that time span you can get it on their website and then send it right back. I myself if I didn't think the paddle was worth giving it a shot I would tell you straight up but I would definitely go look at their website and give it a look and give it a demo run for sure. You can also use promo code DINK10 on their website as well for 10% off for every single one of their paddles and colorways except for their brand new black one that was just released. They're currently retailing for $239, which yes, is a higher price point, but this is a very well-built paddle and it's extremely durable, gonna last you a long time, no questions asked. Thank you so much for watching, really hope you guys give this paddle a try and as always, feel free to like the video, subscribe, and then hit the bell so you always get notified whenever we post something new. Thanks a lot.